When the Cold War turned everyday life into a waiting game of what if, not everyone had the cash or courage to build a concrete fortress. Yet somewhere between panic drills and backyard bunkers, a few clever minds cracked a survival code so good it still beats most modern prepping systems. And yeah, this isn't some sci-fi fantasy or high-tech gear pitch. This is old-school genius that works. If you're into smart survival, real resilience, and building systems that last, hit that subscribe button right now. Because we're digging deep into the most underrated Cold War survival hack ever made. The 1950s weren't just about rock and roll and chrome cars. They were about fear. The mushroom cloud wasn't just a symbol of destruction. It was motivation. Ordinary people, not soldiers, were the ones trying to figure out how to protect their families when the world outside could turn radioactive in seconds. The government's answer? Concrete bunkers, steel doors, and price tags that could drain a working man's savings. But when the big players went expensive, everyday folks went clever. That's when the Earth Cradle Shelter was born, a partially buried, soil-shielded refuge that used physics, not fortune, to save lives. It was built by hand, using nothing more than dirt, timber, and some grit. No power tools, no generators, no military blueprints, just raw human problem-solving that turned the very ground under your feet into a fortress. Here's the secret nobody talks about anymore. The Earth itself is one of the best radiation barriers ever discovered. Packed soil absorbs gamma radiation, diffuses shock waves, and keeps temperatures steady. During nuclear test simulations in the 1960s, small Earth-sheltered chambers outperformed government-grade concrete bunkers. In fact, a layer of just three feet of dense soil could cut radiation exposure by up to 98%. The design was simple but brilliant. Builders carved into a slope or dug a shallow trench, lined the walls with compacted dirt or sandbags, and covered the top with more soil. The result was a structure that blended right into the environment, practically invisible from above. No flashy doors. No, I've got supplies here, billboard. Just a natural extension of the landscape that kept you hidden, cool and safe. And here's where it gets even better. The surrounding soil acted like a built-in climate system. Underground temperatures hover around 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius year-round. That means while the world outside burned or froze, the inside stayed stable, cool in summer, warm in winter. That's not a luxury. That's survival science. Watermark. Prepper's Survival Blueprint. Concrete bunkers might sound tough, but they came with a fatal flaw. They trapped moisture and heat. After a few weeks underground, those fancy shelters turned into damp, airless tombs. The earth cradle didn't have that problem because it worked with nature, not against it. By adding two simple air vents, one low for intake and one high for exhaust, it used the power of convection to keep air circulating naturally. No fans, no power, just smart airflow that made the space breathable and livable. In nuclear test simulations, shelters with this passive ventilation stayed habitable days longer than sealed concrete rooms. Watermark. Prepper's Survival Blueprint. If you're into off-grid living, prepping, or just smart engineering, this design is a gold mine. You can still build one today with hand tools and determination. 
Dig four or five feet deep, reinforce the walls with sandbags or timber, span the roof with beams or corrugated metal, and cover it with compacted soil. That's it. Nature handles the rest. Watermark. Prepper's survival blueprint. One of the era's most revolutionary tools, you see, came from a man named Crescian Kearney. He was an engineer and survivalist who built what's now known as the Kearney air pump. Now, it wasn't anything fancy. It was just a flap of plywood or sheet metal that pumped air using nothing but human power. But, you know, it could move 200 cubic feet of air per minute. That's enough to keep an entire family breathing underground for weeks, believe it or not. No noise, no energy, no failure points at all. Just a device that worked because it respected basic physics. And, well, modern preppers still use versions of it in root cellars, off-grid homes and storm shelters. When tech fails, this thing keeps you alive. Watermark Preppers Survival Blueprint What makes the Cold War shelter movement fascinating isn't just the structures, it's the mindset behind them. People back then weren't trying to build luxury bunkers or TikTok-worthy hideouts. They were creating systems that worked using minimal resources. They understood that real resilience isn't about having the most gear. It's about knowing how to use what's already around you. That mindset, using the Earth's natural insulation, airflow and thermal mass, is what modern sustainable design is built on. Earth-sheltered homes, passive cooling systems, even eco-housing concepts all trace their roots back to these Cold War experiments. While government bunkers are now crumbling relics, those humble backyard shelters, many still exist. Farmers turned them into storm shelters. Homesteaders use them for storage. Some have been sealed for decades, perfectly preserved by the same soil that once shielded them from fallout. Here's the truth. The most powerful survival systems are usually the simplest ones. The Earth Cradle Shelter is proof of that. It didn't need Wi-Fi, solar panels or reinforced titanium doors. It just used dirt, physics and common sense. For preppers, off-grid builders or anyone who values independence, this design is worth rediscovering. It's not nostalgia. It's engineering that works when nothing else will. In an age of overcomplicated prepping, the Cold War's forgotten earth shelters remind us that the ground beneath us might just be the best protection we'll ever have. So next time you think you need to spend a fortune on survival, remember, sometimes the smartest move is to dig down, not cash out. If this deep dive into Cold War ingenuity gave you a spark of inspiration, hit that subscribe button and share this with someone who loves real survival wisdom. Because the best lessons from history aren't just meant to be remembered, they're meant to be rebuilt.